Hello and welcome to this first in a series of tutorials for Avid Media Composer. These are aimed at beginners and they're designed to take you through the entire post-production workflow from creating your project, importing your work, syncing it all up, making proxies and getting it back out for delivery to the customer or client. We're on our Avid Media Composer page. The first thing I want to do is find a location for my new Avid project. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to my drive. And in this instance, I'm going to click on this folder that I've created called Avid Training. I'm going to go to Open. So my location is now my hard drive within the folder Avid Training. I'm going to create a new project here. And in this instance, I'm just going to call this um, Avid Training 1. The format, you've got many here that are customized, such as 2K, 4K, 8K, and so on. I'm going to select Custom. And the raster dimensions, I'm going to program in manually. The footage we're working with today is 3200 by 18. 0, 0, it's 4K footage, 3200 by 1800, and the frame rate that I'm choosing is 25. All other settings you can leave as are. Make sure your color space is this one here, YCBCR 709. I'm then going to go to Create. We have a lot of monitor windows here. I think it can be a little dull at first to actually sit and explain what they are. I think the best thing to do is get to work and we'll figure out what each of these monitors and panels do as we work through these tutorials. On the left here is my main project window. It's already created a bin for me, which has been named the same as the project. I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to relabel that rushes. This is where I'm going to import or link my media. So I'm going to double click on this bin and it opens it in this window here. This window is where the footage will be placed within our rushes bin, which you can see named here. We're going to do a right click. We're going to go to input. We're going to go to source browser. And my drive is called Lacey, which you can see here. I'm going to double click on that. And let's just open this up a little bit. I'm going to go to my drama work and find some rushes. In your case, obviously, go to whatever folder you have your rushes placed within. I've got one here. I'm going to go into this folder, and here's my video footage. I'm going to just do a shift select like so, and I want to bring these clips in. You have two options for bringing your footage into Avid link and import. I would like you to use link please in this instance. We're going to make sure the target bin is selected for rushes and we're going to click on link. And my footage has immediately been brought in. You'll notice in Avid it actually sort of has them in the wrong order. You can see it going from 11 down to 1 here. I'm going to just click on name, do a right click and just go to sort on column ascending so that in the right order one, two, three, four, so on. That little chain there indicates this is linked media. I'm going to just click on one of these. There we go. And let's do a little playback under my source monitor. This is the source monitor where we can play our footage. I'm just going to hit play by pressing the space bar. As you can see, it's struggling to play back. This is, of course, because this is 4K footage. And unless you've got a particularly powerful and fast computer, you will need to make what are known as proxies. And proxies are lower resolution, smaller versions of your video files. These are all 4K, these linked clips. And if we try to edit those and play it back, it will put a lot of stress on your computer. So we always recommend making proxies. And this is how we do it. We're going to select our footage. We're going to do a right click. We're going to go down to Consolidate, Transcode. Consolidate is the tab that is usually selected. We're going to click on Transcode. We are going to make sure that we have video and audio on the same drives. We're going to select our drive. In my case, it's this Lacey drive. Under the raster dimensions, which is the frame size, I'm going to select that 
to source a quarter. We're going to keep the source's frame rate. For the target video resolution, I'm going to make sure it's on a nice low bandwidth, which is a good lightweight codex. So DNX HR LB. LB will be good for our purposes, low bandwidth. And for the linked source scaling quality, which is the playback quality, we're going to put that down to about half. If you're working with 8 or even 16K footage, you may need to put that a bit lower, but half will be good for us. So, source a quarter, keep the source's frame rate, DNX HRLB, and half good quality, and then you click on transcode. This can take a while, so we're going to set it running, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.